What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to episode three of Tuesday Morning Quarterback. I'm Brandon Kramer. I'm with the legendary Brian DeGennaro. How are you doing, Brian? Fantastic, as always. Finally back. Finally fixed your computer. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been it's been really bad lately. Got to get new internet, I think. Uh, yeah. Here. Well, got another uh, week of football under our belt. So four weeks without any blips. We did have one, but we'll get into that later. But we're going to start off with a segment uh, we're going to call the Tuesday Rundown with Brian DeGennaro. So I'm going to read off the scores, and Brian's just going to summarize them to the best of his ability. Oh, boy. Right. Here we go. Okay. So we have on Thursday night, the Broncos took down the Jets, 37-28. Well, this one hits home for me. I could say so much about this, but let's just say uh, Brett Ripien is the first quarterback to ever start a game in the NFL and win a game from Boise State. So ever. History has been made. So for nothing more, at least the Jets are, are part of history. Honestly, that was a lot better. I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say <laughs> fire Adam Gase. All right. There that we have about Ray, the Ravens beat the Washington football team. Okay. Uh, yeah, this was a good team beat a bad team. I don't know what else you want me to say. <laughs> uh, Chargers fall to the Buccaneers, 38 to uh, 31. Oh, this was a good one. Uh, Tom Brady came back at the end, actually looked good for once, uh, which, you know, as a Jets fan, I don't really care for. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Tom Brady wins this one. And then we have the Seahawks take down the Dolphins. Uh, yeah, Seahawks keep rolling. Uh, Miami still looks bad. Maybe it's time for Tua. They tanked for Tua. Shout out to Vinny. They did. did. Okay, then we have the Vikings, the uh, the Battle of the Winless team. The Vikings take down the Texans. We're going to get into this later. Uh, so let's let's save this one. We'll save yeah. this one. <laughs> Saints barely beat the Lions 35-29. to 29. Uh. Yeah, I think it was a little bit – it wasn't as close as it seemed because I think they scored a late touchdown, uh, Detroit did. But, uh, but yeah, Drew Brees actually looked good for once. He hasn't looked good all season, so that's good to see. And probably the most exciting game of the day, the Browns beat the Cowboys 49-38. to Yes, what can I say? Even as a Jets fan, I know, Brandon, I'm sure you feel this way, but it's always good to see the Cowboys lose, it's especially at home to, to a terrible Browns team. Yeah. Um. We'll get through some of these. I mean, we have the some smaller games. Let's get to a good one. Raiders yeah. beat the Bills. Or no, the Bills beat the Raiders, in my bad. Yeah. 30 to 23. I know you're really high on Josh Allen. Uh, I'm still not. I don't think he's a great passer, but he showed some ability this weekend. I have to give it to him. Uh, he's been great all season. He has a great team around him, and the, the Bills are kind of scary. Not going to lie. Because they have they that two-way offense, you know, because Josh could take off and run. You never know. You have to contain him, so. It's fun to watch. We have the Bengals beating the Jaguars. Yeah. Uh, again, this is just two bad teams. I really don't care. Joe Burrow's first <laughs> career win, though. That's true. Joe Burrow's first career win. Uh, but, yeah, Gardner Minshew also looks good. He has the greatest name in football. so much swag. I, just... I mean, it's up there with, with the name Bust the Screen. Love him. That is the <laughs> best name for a corner. He's an awful corner, but, yeah, go on. And then – just to wrap it up, we have on a Sunday night, the Eagles took down the Eagle or the e Eagles took down the 49ers. Yeah. Uh, what are the 49ers are down to their third string quarterback now? Uh, so they, they benched him. They benched him. They, well, they benched Mullins for, yeah, their third string. So, yeah, I mean, the Eagles should have won this game. So it's good to see they uh, pulled through. George Kittle's amazing. He had like 15 so catches. He is so, didn't they run him once, too, once or twice? I would be they, surprised. They just do well, some anyway. really cool stuff on uh, that offense. <laughs> so those were uh, the breakdowns and kind of an underwhelming week in terms of just there was a lot. But, I mean, we did have a post moment, and we'll get into that right now. So the Steelers and Titans were supposed to play, but then I think now the totals up to 13 Titans players got COVID. Um, how the fuck does that happen? It's not good, Bob. <laughs> I mean, I think w what I read was that uh, things are really bad in, in Tennessee right now. And so people went out and caught it. And that's really what it was, as far as I know. It's not like baseball that we talked about where they have some extra days. I mean, there's right. still a chance. I don't think the earliest their uh, facility can open up is Wednesday. So, I mean, they're playing the Bills, I believe <clears> it's <throat> Sunday. I don't think Sunday night. 
Um, mm -hmm. They are playing. Yeah, uh, Texans play the Bills. Yeah, not even on a Monday, so that doesn't help. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and that's assuming there are no more positives. So. Exactly. I mean, I think they were in the clear for today, but still, mm -hmm. these we know these things can come up. I mean, and it's not like they can push something back. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. you only have one. Well, they should. They really should have built more by weeks into this year maybe giving them two bye weeks instead of just one um but didn't they they already postponed this week's game to i think week seven or week eight yeah um, week eight and then they have the ravens have a certain bye as well right right so they got lucky there <laughs> and then we had also cam newton got covid but yeah this is a real bummer i mean he's been playing so good all year and it's so good to see because cam is one of the, he's a top quarterback when he's healthy and he's just been so hurt the past few years and to finally see him healthy and and you know prospering in a in a good offense and a good system, it was really good to see. And you know, I, I hope that that continues once he gets healthy. I hope he gets has a quick recovery. Um, but I, I was really looking forward to this week's game because of that. I mean, Chiefs pa Patriots. Chiefs Patriots awesome. does not have the same ring to it when Brian Hoyer is uh not at all. <laughs> it's it's. Hopefully, we can get that matchup. I don't know if the Patriots will make it that far in the playoffs. I do think they'll they might win as a wild card right now the bills as i said are running away with that division but i mean it depends on how long newton's out but i mean as you said football's everyone loves football when cam newton is himself again i mean exactly keep things uh, imagine being the panthers and looking like oh wait maybe we <laughs> shouldn't have given up on this guy no i think they were right to move on i mean they had they had you know put so much money into him already and 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 given him so many chances so I, I, I think it was right for them to move on. But at the same time, the Patriots got really lucky that he was able to get healthy. So hopefully he turns it back around and we're good to go again. Hopefully. And I'm and, not a Patriots fan, so. Yeah, no, neither He's of us He's saying are. that holds some credence. So go on. <laughs> now, about an hour before we uh, recorded, news broke that the Texans, their owner, fired general manager slash head coach slash play caller slash the – guy that ruined the Texans, Bill O'Brien, <laughs> finally. About time. I can't believe it lasted this long. It's, I mean, I don't know what went wrong in his in his brain when he thought trading DeAndre Hopkins and then getting back Brandon Cooks, but then also getting David Johnson would progress to Sean Watson's game. Because now, don't get me wrong, Will Fuller's a great player. Can't stay healthy. He's not your big guy. But it's DeAndre yeah. Hopkins. I mean, yeah. you're not going to find another DeAndre Hopkins. And mm -hmm. it's – I just it's, as you said, it's about time. I mean, yeah, you I have mean, – he, he, He's made some very questionable moves. And uh, on top of the, the, the big one that you just mentioned, he's put no offensive line around uh, Deshaun Watson. And Watson could easily be a top-five quarterback. He shows the skill, even even when he's running for his life every weekend. Um, he always makes some really good plays. And you you know, if he had a freaking O line, he'd be awesome. So I mean, that's just negligence on Bill O'Brien's part. As a Jets fan, I understand how Houston fans must feel, um, but at least their uh, their owner was smart enough to fire this guy. Whereas the Johnsons, I, I don't know what the hell we're doing. Um, I, I'm pretty sure Bill O'Brien had a winning record. Uh, in Houston, I think it was like 52 and 48 or something like that. Yeah. And they were, they still were able to pull the trick with him. So I don't know what the hell is going on with Adam Gase and the Jets. So I can say he with you with the Jets. Giants and Dave Gettleman, but that's, that's all. Brian and I could rant about our, yeah. our guys. That's true. Forever. Yeah. You, but, you have, a, you have a big issue there too. <laughs> oh my God. Don't get, I mean, there's a big, of the Giants. They actually, oh, we need to talk about the Giants. Yeah, oh, man. I was going to say, I mean, uh, See, my wrap up for that was just going to be that Daniel Jones sucks, uh, and Dave yeah, he, uh, he looked really rocky. I mean, they had they had chances to win that game or even take the lead, but yeah, not I, a good game. I've I've said this, and I'll say this here: if the Giants somehow wind up with the first overall pick, unless you're blown away with the trade offer, I feel like you have to take Trevor Lawrence. Don't get me wrong; I love Daniel Jones, but. Unless, I, yeah. I mean, there's probably more teams that'll trade. I mean, let me ask you this. If the Jets were to get the number one overall pick, what are you doing? It's so tough. I mean, I, I think at this point, unless something changes, something drastically changes, I think you got to draft Lawrence. 
Um, I'm a big Sam Darnold fan. I was from the very beginning, uh, but we're now in year three, and the guy has not had an opportunity to progress. And it's not his fault. I mean, they've built a terrible team around him. They have no one on it. They have no targets for him. Their offensive line, although it's gotten better, is still garbage. He's always running for his life. And he just hasn't had the opportunity to learn how to be a pocket passer. He still makes really great plays out of the pocket, and like you see, uh, he uh, had a great run on Sunday. Um, but that was, an, that was insane. yeah, it was amazing. And like, he has the talent, and that's what's so frustrating because he could be, he could have been such an amazing quarterback, and he still could end up being that. But I think for the Jets, um, at this point, hopefully Adam Gase is gone as soon as as humanly possible. And if if they get rid of him. And maybe in the second half of the season, Sam's able to turn around and show some progress. Then maybe you have more of a decision on your hands. But unless something changes right now, I, I think it, it might, you know, as hard as it is for me to say, I think it's it's best for Sam to, for them to just move on. You know, maybe maybe Sam will go to Pittsburgh or something. Yeah, we were talking about to, that. I think that's a perfect fit for him if, if the Jets end up dropping. I mean, just such – it breaks my heart. Like, honestly, I, I've been sad all week thinking about this. About two weeks now actually so yeah the state of right. new york football unless you're a bills fan has been honestly like this for bills aren't last, in new york time, football. last time i was happy watching the giants was 2016 and i still was sad because of the boat incident but yeah well i can't remember the last time i was happy watching the jets so <laughs> oh god the giants so actually i'm gonna do a quick little look into the games for next week um, there was a really good one that I actually had marked. Um, no, I'm actually, oh, Vikings Seahawks is a game that I actually had my yeah, eye on. The Vikings are one and three, but they're one and three as a product of Kurt Cousins being terrible, but. Yeah. Yeah. And the Seattle has been really good. And I mean, Russell Wilson is just unbelievable. So, but I mean, so there's always the opportunity to score a lot of points on them. <clears throat> if if you're if anyone's into betting right before we wrap it up, put money on the Cowboys against the Giants. We're gonna get. I don't know who to root for. I don't like either team. I think I hate the Cowboys more. I hate the Cowboys. I know you but do. Anyway, <laughs> that that's gonna be uh, it for us this week. Hopefully, we come back to you next week with no more COVID news because we just want the NFL back. But we'll see you guys next week. Go Giants. <laughs>